to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cut this shot. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels podcast. This is a really, really special one. We're in the double digits. Episode this is number 10. Number 10. The Ty Dillinger episode. That's right. It is the perfect 10. It's not going to be that perfect. <laughs> it should be all right. We're on it'll, it, so it's perfect. It'll, it'll suffice. It'll suffice. That's right. Uh, you went to an NXT show recently. I did. I am Brian, Brian, Brian Man Peacock. By oh, the yeah, way. that's right. We should do the intro. And I'm Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. It's the first time I screwed it up, and I did it on the Perfect Ten episode. It's alright, I was perfect. <laughs> you, you perfectly screwed it up. Oh, I did. <laughs> and you went to an NXT show recently. I didn't get to go because I was working. Right. Uh, yep, Friday night, Crystal River at the Armory. Place I've seen many wrestling shows. Yeah. Uh, it was alright. You didn't miss the greatest show. I did miss a couple things that I'm pretty upset about. You did miss a few things, but all in all, the show itself was just, it was just okay. And that happens at some of these shows because a lot of these shows are the developmental guys. They're not Finn Balor every time. It's... Right, yeah, it's not a fully stacked show. It's Ty Dillinger in his first year. Right. Which is still pretty freaking cool. Yeah. Um... One of the really developmental guys that you did miss, that we do like, that I don't know his name, the uh, the warrior guy? Riddick Moss? No, not him. Oh, oh, okay, that's right. Good. No, the warrior faced Riddick Moss last time. Yes. Yeah, okay. He was there. Cool. Yeah, he was good. Who did he face? Um, the really tall Brazilian guy with, like, the Brazilian flag on his tights. I vaguely know who you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, because I got them mixed up at first. I was like, oh, this guy's good. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I meant this guy's really good. <laughs> One of these guys. One of these guys. One of yeah. these guys is not like the other. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, yeah, and then there were some, some other really good guys there, though. Uh, yeah, well, let's go ahead and just run down the whole... Oh, whole you got part. the card? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Um, first match, uh, Demetrius Bronson defeated... Kona Reeves. Does any of those names really no. know? Uh, Demetrius Bronson, he's the guy who came out with Ho Ho Moon last time and got crushed. Okay. Um, I was excited to see what he was going to do, and he did good. He, he was really good. Okay. Um, and they got crushed by the authors of Pain last yeah. time, unfortunately. Yeah, so I was really excited to see him come out. He's the first person to come out, too, for the whole show, so I was you know, pretty excited at that point. Uh, he does look like our favorite server at Applebee's. So okay. I was like, hey, look, <laughs> he's Captain <Hyatt> off. <laughs> he looks just like him. Uh, he was really good, and he beat Kona Reeves, who is the uh, the Hawaiian heel. Yeah, I don't know. We've seen him. Okay. He's been around. That's a cool name, though, Kona Reeves. Yeah. I can dig that. He's got uh, some Hawaiian thing on his uh, on his tights. And okay. He's, uh, he's very Hawaiian looking guy he's got some tattoos and stuff alright but yeah he's. A, I think he'd do better as a face but he's okay as a heel um the next one still pretty excited about um it was Bollywood Boys who will come up later cool um I do want to point out I wish I would have watched NXT and Smackdown before I went yeah because I did not know why everyone was chanting gender sucks. Yeah, we'll Wars. get to that later. I was like, that's kind of racist. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> um, they also did it to somebody else, and there was really no reason, but we'll get to was that. Was it the other Indian guy? Uh, Davari. They chanted it at Davari as well. Now that's racist. I was like, guys, why? Because Davari literally has nothing to do with any of this. Yeah. Um, Jeez. But it was... The Bollywood Boys and then the Street Profits came out. Who? The Street Profits. Everyone like popped for the Street Profits. I had no idea who they were until I saw someone standing up and then they were doing this. I know you can't oh, see it. Oh God! But no. they were mixing up the bowl and I'm like, oh no, not and, and Angelo Dawkins. <clears throat> at one at the end of the match, I did chant, "Pick a gimmick." <laughs> <laughs> um, so it was Angelo and who else? Montez Ford. 
Oh, I know that name. They, they were good. I mean, Angelo's good. He's the, good. The stupid bowl thing pisses me off. He's been doing it forever. He no needs matter to stop. what. Stop. No one knows what the hell it means. <laughs> I don't know, but everyone was doing it. It was weird. Oh, no. Everyone was doing it. Now he thinks it's good. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Angelo, it's not good. Trust, Trust me. me. I was like, at this point, I was like, ah, all right. Bollywood boys, I know they're good. And don't Angelo Dog, he's all right. He's good. I want to, like, make a uh, Swedish chef on the Muppets. So yeah. Her, 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 <laughs> Angelo Dawkins face on it. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Chef, I, like a bowl. That. I need to do that. A little gift or something. Yeah, hell yeah. But then it was a three-way elimination tag. And then the last team came out. And I got really, really excited. It was Sanity. I oh, Sanity. nice. Uh, it, it was all of them. So, Eric Young. By the way, I don't have this as a news story. Uh-huh. Supposedly Crazy Steve of uh, Decay and TNA was very similar to Sanity. It's Steve and Abyss and Rosemary. I uh, think missing I've somebody. Seen it. They're, they're pretty badass. Yeah, Steve yeah, yeah. Is supposedly WWE bound, and he's really good. Nice. I did see them because I was like, "Is that Abyss?" Yeah. When I was trying to catch some TNA recently. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right. He'll be, hopefully, he joins the K because he'll be a good fit. Sanity. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hopefully, he'll join <laughs> Sanity. Right. Okay. Yeah. One of those. It was uh, it was Eric Young and Alexander Wolf. Uh, okay. They won course uh god they're so good i love them wolf like wolf has always been fine when we see him yeah we've seen him a lot and yeah now he's really shining that's pretty cool to see yeah uh <laughs> nikki cross is ever ever entertaining yeah uh the ref was trying to get the other two out uh nikki cross and uh the other guy's name again the big guy yeah okay uh dane so, yeah. See, I feel like, because he was in the uh, Andre the Giant Memorial yeah. Battle Royal, I feel like Wolf would have been a better pick. Because this Dane guy just isn't very interesting to me. I like him. I just, I can't remember his name. He's I too much like Braun Strowman as well. That, I agree with. Wolf is at least different. Wolf is very different. Yeah. I like that. I like yeah. how different he is. The, that That is really a group that has, like... Because with Eric Young and Nikki Cross, who else is it? It's Wolf and Dane. Yeah. But with Nikki and Eric by themselves, that's a great pair. Right. And they're bringing up these younger guys, these yeah. you know, lesser known guys. That's awesome. Yeah. They could probably use, well, like a crazy Steve, like one good, really solid member. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and hopefully we'll see it. Yeah. Uh, but when the ref was trying to get uh, Dane and Nikki out of the ring, the, uh. Nikki rips off her jacket or whatever top she was wearing, mm-hmm. and she had a uh, like a ref singlet underneath for a second. I don't know where it went because she wasn't wearing it like two seconds later. Huh. But I swear she was wearing like a ref shirt underneath. And I was like, that's funny. Jeez. I would have loved to have seen Nikki Cross's special guest referee. Obviously, yeah, we would have known. Well, so the team would be like, uh, no, go away. <laughs> but I don't think so. I got. It. I was like, oh, wait, let's see it. That'll be awesome. But um. It was, that was good. Um, Oni Lorcan came out after. Cool. <coughs> oh, it's Killian Dane, by the way. He's the big guy. Right oh, okay. Um, Oni Lorcan came out. Uh, they were they called it an interview. I really did not like the two tag team announcer ladies. Okay. They were not very good. I don't remember their name. Well, uh, and again, this is like a place for NXT to yeah, have people practice things. They were they were new. I get it. I've seen yeah. the one on TV. Uh, the dark haired girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then there was a blonde who just wasn't. Just wasn't. Yeah. Just wasn't very good. But she called only Lorcan out for a what she called an interview, but then she left. It's like, well, that's not an interview. It's huh. <laughs> it's an interview where you're asking questions. Yeah, that's weird. But. uh he had his sh- uh, NXT t-shirt he was going to give to the crowd. That whole thing. 
then Riddick Moss and Tino Sabatini. Uh, I've I've never seen that guy before. He's uh yo you need to watch Breaking Ground. Oh, um, okay. network. He's really he is a very charismatic guy. I mean he he was good out there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's one of the main guys in Breaking Ground. Oh, right. you haven't watched that, right? No. It's so good. Is that like a tough enough? Style? No, it's uh, like a documentary. Oh, okay. I'd yeah, it. it's like a documentary. Okay. It's on the network. I'll watch it then. Uh, but yeah, Riddick Moss and Tino Sabatelli. Yep. Came out. Basically, they were like, "No one really cares if Jeff so they get out. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do an interview." They keep saying the interview. No one's asking questions. They throw him out. And when he gets out of the ring, he like, he lands on his feet. And he's like, "I don't think so." And he's back in the ring. Turns them around, gets on their face. They, they go back and forth for a while. Yeah. Then they they get into a little fight. Oni ends up like throwing them out or something. Uh, they leave, and Oni gives a shirt to some kid. And uh, that was about it. <laughs> I mean, oh, but Oni Lorcan did get to hit his uh, his running uppercut. And yeah, that's a really cool move. But the even better one was a running blockbuster. He hit on Rick really Moss. Nice. And that's when they left. <coughs> so, I mean, that was that was entertaining as well. Um, oh, the thing about Tino and um, Riddick, they did a and a from Chris River that I, I caught a little bit of, and they were full heel with the Q&A. It was kind of awesome. Nice. Yeah, but, I didn't uh, see it. I can't remember which of them. I think it was Riddick was saying like why do these people keep asking how to get in shape they know how to get in shape you eat better you work out and no one wants to put any effort because they're pussies and it's like <laughs> did he just call fans pussies <laughs> I'm 99% sure he did but it was like it, well as soon as he said pussies Tino started saying something right so it's like what the <laughs> oh, I'll just show you funny. that if I can even find the point in the video yeah I'll watch the whole video just to see that <clears throat> Um, next match, uh, I believe this is the match we were just talking about in the beginning here. Um, Adrian, I can't pronounce the last name. Um, oh, Andrade? No, J-A-U-O-D-E. This is, that's, uh, that's the warrior guy. At one point he just yelled, I am the warrior. So, I just... What nationality is he? Don't know. Okay. Um, possibly Middle Eastern. That's what I was thinking. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. There's, I mean, he's got nothing on his tights or anything. He wears shorts. He's got like a sun or something on him, I think. But other than that, hmm. nothing really hints at anything. Yeah. Uh, he beat <coughs> Caesar Oni. B O N O N I. Uh, oh, I don't know. Anoni? <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, that was a decent match. I mean, the Warrior guy was good. He, I really, I hope to see him, you know, do more. Yeah, the Warrior's very good. Uh, but then the, the Warrior guy won. Uh, next match, Dylan Miley, a uh, huge guy. Someone called him the Human Shrek. And I've seen him, I think he was in a tag, yes, he was in a tag match against the Authors of Pain, I think. Okay. And he had some weird, like, really different looking tag team partner that didn't really fit. The big guy? No, really little okay. guy, actually. And they lost, and he just beat the hell out of his tag partner. Oh, jeez. Yeah, because you could, you could tell they weren't, like, established, an established tag team or anything. Right. Uh... This is this the guy who then apologized for doing that? I, I saw know. something on the website about that. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but then I was like, oh, all right, this guy, he's a beast, but let's see what's going to happen. And then I heard the oh no music, and I lost my collective shit. Oh no, oh no. I love that. Everyone lost their shit there. I mean, everyone just, the whole crowd lost it. He's been crazy. there, right? Uh, no. As hero. As hero, yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, I actually I pulled up my picture of it, 
And I was like, look, over there in that corner, I have a picture with him from 2009. You should have tweeted it at him. You used Twitter. Damn it. Damn it. I <laughs> said use Twitter. I don't know how to use Twitter. I, I would have, it was on my Instagram. Weren't you talking shit at the NXT show on Facebook that you were posting posts or something? I don't think so. Were you watching something the other day and you kept posting little things about it? Raw? Maybe it was raw. Those are, that's the shit you post on Twitter. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, this should be on my Twitter, shouldn't it? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because it was short stuff. Yeah. And then, like, just have your Twitter automatically post to Facebook. Yeah, I gotta set that up. <laughs> we'll do it today. All right. Um, we'll both talk shit while we watch raw. All right. <clears throat> Actually, I think the stuff I posted was good or funny. Uh, or at least I thought it was funny. Yeah, that's all that matters. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the, and this match was okay, though. Oh, the one thing. Well, and you, it's Hero and who else? Cash is Odo. Versus, <laughs> don't worry, I'll get to that, though. I'll get to that. Versus Dylan Myling, who has, like, the most, like, skipping through the tulips kind of name. Yeah. Dylan Myling. And he is bigger than Ryback? Muscle, is he a muscle guy or fat guy? Muscle guy. Okay. Well, I Corn fed guy. Okay. Like, uh, I would not doubt at all if he has, like, some college wrestling accomplishment. So not, like, himself. heavy machinery, more along the lines right. of Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Or right back. Exactly. Okay. Heavy machinery, we're doing photos, but oh. there were so few seats this time, I didn't want to get up. Like, we were packed in, like, sardines, and there was, like... 30 feet they do that sometimes empty I don't floor know behind us I was pretty mad um but yeah I, I thought about getting my picture with heavy machinery but I was like I am sorry maybe next I time. haven't seen anything from them to impress me I kind of like them I, I like the idea I like that they're like a they're still like the authors of pain still sort of boring yeah but I don't know maybe the I want to see what they're going to do. Yeah. But back to the uh, Cash Zono match. You said it's Chris, Hero. Hero, Chris Hero and who else? Well, the funny thing is, is almost the entire almost the entire match, the crowd chants were uh, Cash Zono, let's go Hero, Cash is... And I'm like, I don't think these people know what's going on. Because there was a group in the corner who were, they were chanting for Chris Hero, and they were like, "You'll always be Chris Hero," and all this other stuff that usually I would agree with, but was actually kind of pissing me off this time. Yeah, and like I, I that shit does bother me. Right. Like me calling him Chris Hero, it's I, it's hard not to. Cassius Ono is not the catchiest name. It's a pretty good name. It, it's though. good, but it's not a Chris Hero name. It's like if you know a guy by a name, yeah, and then he changes it to something totally different and stupid. Like which I, I guess when we know someone who who did this, right? And it's just like, wh who are we talking about? Or like Kevin Steen, the Kevin O. Yeah, like, I did, I called him Kevin Steen a few times. I know I did. <coughs> I'm sure I have, and I still do, sort of. Brian Daniels? I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Daniel Bryan? I was a Daniel Bryan fan, and then I was a Brian Daniels fan. Okay. Yeah, see, I could never even get it straight. So, you know, I'm just lucky you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. So, I, like, I feel like they made a good choice there with Daniel Bryan. Um, that sounds better than Brian Danielson to me. I don't know. I think I'm kind of biased. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm... And I like Kevin Owens because it's his favorite <clears throat> wrestler and his son's name. Right. I love that. And Kevin Steen is his legit real name. I don't it? know. I really don't. That's one thing I've never known about Kevin Steen. Because I saw a post from he, what he said was his dad on Twitter, and his dad's name was something Steen. Okay. So maybe. But it was his dad tweeted something like, hang in there, Sammy. And, <laughs> and <laughs> what Kevin did Kevin up, say? Oh, no, Dad, why? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, that was pretty funny. Kevin's such a prick. But, um, yeah, Cash was only won by disqualification. Okay. Which is pretty weird. I don't really like that. I hate those finishes at little shows. Yeah. Was it um, at least a longer match? No, it was very short. Damn. Yeah. So I, and I only got to chant Death by Elbow, like, 
for a second. But I thought that was a much more appropriate chant than Chris Hero. Oh, sure, yeah. So It fits. Still fits. And there was a lot of chants for Chris Hero. It was cool. Like, a lot of people knew what was going on. Yeah. Uh, but that group in the corner, like, throughout the whole show, like, this kind of started it, but they were chanting for, like, Kenny Omega. I'm like, Kenny Omega's probably not even in the country right now, guys. Like, no, I'm, I'm, I would imagine he's not. Yeah. And they were chanting. What else they chant for? Like, I don't know. It was dumb. Like, yeah, that's know. a bit much. That's when you're a smark. I mean, not even, like, it's fucking stupid. Like, yeah. Like, because I think that's just a whole nother level. Like, people chanted for Omega at Royal Rumble. That was because Omega was like, ah, I'm going to be there, pretty much. Yeah, then like, he, really, <laughs> he was just playing the pinball game. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, when you're chanting for someone for no reason other than to be like, look who I know. Yeah. I know these names. And there was, there was a guy sitting in front of me wearing the Elite t-shirt, yeah. I think. Never, uh... I mean, he chanted for uh, Cash Zona, but he didn't chant Chris Zona. He's just a wrestling fan. Yeah. He, uh, and, and he's a smart wrestling fan, which people would call smart. See, I think there's a difference. I think we're smart wrestling fans just because we know a lot. Right. And then there's those guys in the corner, the right. smarts. Well, <clears throat> I've mentioned this a thousand times on the show. Um, Al Snow has a, his like training video series yeah. on uh, Fight TV, and he's got a he's got a video on what what's a mark and mm-hmm. what spark and all that. And he's like, we're all marks, damn it. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. And uh, I didn't know, but I'm going to go into it now because since we brought it up and I thought this was really interesting how the term mark came to be I don't know either I thought it was someone to market to okay that's that was always my understanding but apparently obviously uh, pro wrestling goes back to carnivals and carnies oh yeah Um, oh they would mark people they would physically mark people with uh, chalk or powder and like on the midway you would look for people who have the like the streak of and you knew that you were going to get money off of them. Wow, that's incredible that that term has lasted this long. That's pretty freaking cool. Well, a lot of terms, especially like behind the scenes terms are sure. all carnival stuff. Sure. Kayfabe. And yeah. I'm sure Jobber has roots. In Probably the, Roadie. Yeah. Like, I, I don't remember now because it's been forever but I have like I have literal textbooks on pro wrestling and their whole list of carnival terms. <laughs> but see, and that's just, to me, that's just like you're passionate about it. something you're really interested in. Yeah. When you get like, oh my god, I, I screamed at a guy at a show one time. It's uh, actually, it's the uh, the video I have up on our Future Villains YouTube page of uh, Bray Wyatt cutting a promo in NXT right. on us in Brooksville. He kept calling him Husky Harris. Yeah. And it's like, he's not Husky Harris anymore. Right. Like, he kept, Husky, and I was like, shut up, moron! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a, like, when he yell, when this guy yelled, you'll always be Chris Hero to me. If that was all he said, I that would have been fine, I guess. Well, so did he do it when it was quiet? Or like? Like, to, the, towards the end of his entrance. Okay. Like, but did, did Chris hear it, or did Cassius hear it? Uh, yeah. Because I, th- I feel like sometimes when you do stuff like that, it's just like when I wore the El Generico mask to the Sami Zayn show. You know, right. Sammy was there. And I, and I, you know, we pointed at each other, me and yeah. Sammy. He, that was a cool call out, a cool yeah. shout out. You know, you'll always be a hero to me. And, you know, if Chris reacts, like, yeah, I love you, buddy. Yeah. That's one thing. But if you're saying they're chanting Chris Hero all night. Yeah, he goes lock up and, he, and he's hearing Chris Hero from the crowd. He's just like. Well, fuck. <laughs> Come on, guys. Get with it. Yeah. But, yeah, but the, the dueling chants of Cassius Odo and Let's Go Hero, I thought... That was kind dying. of funny. Yeah, I was dying. I was like, this is really... Because then other people were chanting for Chris Hero. Like, little kids and other people who don't know. Yeah. Probably thinking they were chanting for the yeah. other guy since he, he wasn't a big name. They probably were like, Oh, no. oh yeah. like, what's his name? Chris Hero? Oh, yeah. okay. So but I but yeah, it's, but it's, to me, it's like going to see the Magnificent Seven and being like, "How come Drax the Destroyer and all them, but 
There's... Oh, fuck, what's the name of Chris Pratt's character? Uh, Star-Lord? Yeah, there's Star-Lord. How come Drax the Destroyer isn't in this movie? Like, because it's a different movie, you fucking tart. It's the same actor, but it's a, like... Oh, right, yeah. You don't go, like, <laughs> well, The Wise Magnificent Seven. Sorry, like, Chris Pratt's in that. It's an excellent movie. Yeah. You should watch it. I mean, like, you know, let's get him, Star-Lord! Like, no! Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. It's stupid. Uh, yeah, I don't... That match was short. I don't mind. That's unfortunate. And and he was disqualified because he pushed the ref. Once? Once, yeah. Dang. Like, he pushed him to the... He pushed him to the ground. I mean, maybe he was scared because he was going to elbow him in the face. Well, no, no, not uh, Cash's. Uh, oh. The big guy. Okay. He pushed him over, so it was a disqualification. I was pissed. I was like, it wasn't Drake, was it, the ref? No. Because yeah, Drake would have just punched him in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, almost ran into Drake walking in. I really, I feel like they should make him a ref that fights back. I wouldn't be surprised if they do him <laughs> eventually. They give him, like, a short little run of, Dude, like... Yeah, there's that ref in PWG that, that fights back. Yeah. That, like, kicked the shit out of the Young Bucks one time. Yes. That was great. All right, but the next match was also very exciting. Uh, well, to begin with, uh, it was Mandy Rose, which is why it was not exciting, uh, versus Asuka. Oh, nice. When Asuka's music hit, uh, the people in front of us started literally jumping up and down in their seats. We had we had two pretty diehard fans in front of us. Like, yeah, that's that's, that's, the, that's, that's so much fun good. going to these shows. And not we had Zack Ryder show up at our show. Nice. That is so damn cool. But yeah, on but the weird thing, uh, Oscar came out. She had the old title belt. Yeah, and that's like I don't know. What I what I told you what I think that is is they probably have the new belt somewhere where they're doing like a photo shoot or they're making like a video with it something like that right because I think they only literally have one of like that quality of belt like hero style yes like, like a hero prop or a yes exactly a hero prop exactly yeah and like like the belt. She had the the uh, NXT Women's Title belt. She had on her. Yeah. Looked brand new. Like the leather was still super stiff. Like it looks like it was still folded. So maybe they had the both of them somewhere filming something. Yeah. Well, I just thought it was a little weird. Yeah. Um, <coughs> but yeah, uh, Oscar beat the hell out of Mandy Rose, and Mandy Rose had a cool couple cool spots. That's the blonde. Yeah. Where's gold? Yeah, um, okay. She's pretty good. Not... I've seen her before, and she wasn't that good. She got a lot better this time. Okay. Probably because she was working with Asuka. Yeah. Um, not sure what her gimmick is. Uh, I don't think she has one. We were like, is her gimmick a stripper? And then <laughs> we were like, oh, wait. Yes, that's got to be it. I don't know. Um, She's probably just one of those people that don't have a gimmick yet. Probably. Um, but in the ring, she was all right. But uh, obviously, I was good one. <laughs> uh, intermission, pretty quick intermission this time actually, which I, I didn't mind. Um, we come back, and we have uh, Jack Gallagher versus Davari. Are you Davari? Yep. Hell yeah. Um, I thought Jack Gallagher was going to be in the main event. Because they said that he was there, like they ran down the list of who was there. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. He's in. I like him. He's alright, but he's he doesn't do. WWE's anything. really. Did you see the new episode of uh, Ride Along or whatever? Where they filmed them. No, but I want to see that one. Yeah, because um, is it Neville that kicks him out? No, it's not Neville. It's um um oh my god. Oh no, it's Brian Kendrick. Oh, that's right. just <laughs> leaves him at the yeah. store. <laughs> No, it was uh, Neville and Sammy, wasn't it? The That's the one we watched. That was a really good one. Yeah, because then there was uh, Gallows and Anderson. With ben, yes, <laughs> with Ben and AJ in the back, the cardboard cutouts. That was fun. Oh my god, that was that was the best. Uh, yeah, I mean that was a, that was a good match. Um, yeah, but people were chanting uh, "Gender sucks" to Davari too. I was like, uh, yeah, I don't think Davari has anything to do with all the stuff going on. Not that I saw. I mean, I went back and watched 
NXT and SmackDown. It's the Bollywood Boys and it's another guy in NXT. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I haven't. I seen can't think of his name. name. But yeah, I did see Bollywood Boys get involved. We'll talk about it. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know if it's worth bringing up when we get to Raw or SmackDown or whatever show Davari's on. But they show, like, his new gimmick is supposed to be, like, the super rich Middle Eastern guy. Yeah. <laughs> they could have had him pull up in a little better car than just a Corvette. Don't get me wrong, Corvette's a nice car, but... Not Middle Eastern. Yeah, no, well, I can't think of any Middle Eastern-made cars. <laughs> He's not Middle Eastern. Yeah, they announced him from, uh, from Detroit, though. Not Middle Eastern. He's what? Indian. Alright, well. Way to go, white privilege, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> no, isn't that the gimmick they're going with, though? No, they're all Indian. They're all rich Indian guys from India. Alright. <laughs> I thought. Are you sure? Yes, because Bollywood is in India. I, I understand that. And Jinder's from India. Okay, that I understand as well. Okay. But Davari. Pretty sure I don't know where Davari's from. They say by way of Iran, or Iran. Correct, right? He is Middle Eastern. Okay, because the head thing—I forget what they call him, but the the—I don't want to call it a towel, but the, turban. It's not a turban. This is not wrap, but it's got the, oh, okay. the rope with the. Oh, I don't know then. Um, yeah. I thought you were talking about Jinder and the Bollywood Boys. No, 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 no. no. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that. I know Jinder's that new be. gimmick is that he's a rich guy. I, yeah, because he was like, you don't like how rich my family exactly, is. Exactly, okay. I'm like, I don't give a shit how rich your family gotcha. is. My family's been poor, whatever, I get it. <laughs> but, okay, yeah. So, Davari is Middle Eastern. Yeah. So, his gimmick is he's a rich Middle Eastern guy. Yes. But he pulls up in a Corvette. Before, I haven't seen that. Uh, it was like a second. Because they, they were trying to get over his new gimmick. Sure. Uh, he comes out wearing like a silk shirt. The, Wait, he actually showed the, your NXT show in Corvette? No, no. He, oh, he was okay. on, like, I don't know if he's on Raw or SmackDown. Or oh, okay. But they, they show him pulling up for his, because they were explaining why he had, so because he wears a lot of, like, big gold chains and stuff okay. now. Because he's this super rich guy from the Middle East. I was right. Cause okay. He, it's from Detroit, by the way. We got our that. people mixed up. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, pulling up in the Corvette could have been a little nice car. Um, Probably what was at the rental place. Could be. Very, very true. Um, I mean, it was nice. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, I see Corvettes all the time. Like, I was not impressed when he pulled up to Corvette. <coughs> I'm sure someone had a car they could have let him borrow. Right. Triple but, H. Yeah, Triple H. <laughs> or freaking a Cadillac. Uh, who was driving the Cadillac that one night at the NXT show? Wasn't it Cesaro? I don't remember. Cesaro or Big Cass? They were driving a really nice Cadillac. Cass and Sammy were in a pretty nice car. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. I but don't yeah. remember being a Cadillac. Like, I would have... It should have been one of the... I don't know. Yeah, I guess it was because of uh, Convertible, too. I don't know. Convertible yeah. wouldn't do much for me. Anyway. Uh, uh, Jack do his Mary Poppins spot. Everyone's chanting Mary Poppins. He gets a little... WWE's really into Jack Gallagher, it seems like. Yeah, he's got a match with uh, Tyler Bates for the uh, UK title. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, most British promo I've ever seen. <laughs> like, oh, well, hope to see you in the match. I hope you do well. well I hope I do better than you. <laughs> okay. Well, wow. I hope I do better than you. All right, thank you. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, what? Um, but yeah, that, that match was good. Uh then the lights go out completely and we're like I'm like alright what's going on and then the music hits I'm like where have I heard this music before and the lights come on and there's a chair in the middle of the ring and Lana's sitting there and she does her little dance on the chair cabaret type thing yeah with her bodyguard lady I guess. yeah I couldn't find any information about the bodyguard it kind of looks like Tamina just because the pictures are crappy? Yo, I don't think it is. It looks like uh, Jacqueline from, like, back in the day. I don't remember. Didn't she have the really, really long braids? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. 
uh, her bodyguard, like, her, she has braided hair, but the braid was, like, down past her knees. Oh, see, I couldn't even tell that in the pictures. Yeah. Okay. Um, she had a match against Liv Morgan. No, oh, Lana did beat Liv. Um, yeah, and the article I saw said Lana beat, uh, Ruby Riot. That's not good. Because Lana was bad. Yeah, Liv Morgan's good. Liv, yeah. She put on a decent show, but... Lana was bad. <laughs> she was not good. And that's, um, uh, like I was, I was telling you, that's Rusev's wife, so he was probably there somewhere. Probably shaking his head. That, yes. is, that is so bad. Hopefully she gets better before her debut, which is supposed to be soon. Her facial expressions were just weird. It didn't really match what was happening in the match. Um, her kicks... I remember one point where she Liv was getting up and she went to kick her in the side and she just like looked like she was wiping her feet on her back. It was just so but there was no impact. It was just so soft. It was so bad. Wait. It, it looked like it was uh I don't know. Pretty bad. Then the uh then the main event um Patrick Clark came out, who I, I've seen a couple times. He got the Prince, Prince gimmick. Prince? Yeah. Oh. Like purple rain. Oh, yeah, that's what you were telling me. I don't remember this. And I need to look it up. He teamed up with uh, Andrade Cien Almas. Uh, who's good. Who's really good, actually. Um, still not sure how I feel about him, but in the ring, he's good. Yeah. So, well, he's supposed to be a heel. Yeah, and I, I guess he's going to be a heel. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just I kind I guess I just want to see more of them to kind of get it, and then uh, the their opponents uh, No Way Jose Cool, who this is the first match of his I've ever, actually ever seen. I've seen him do a lot of stuff, but uh, he was very entertaining. His entrance was probably one of yeah, the yeah his entrance is awesome. Um, his music's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty great. But his tag team partner. Once his music hit, I was even thinking about leaving at this point. Right. Until the music hit for Hideo with Tommy. Hell yeah. So, once again, I wish I would have watched NXT to see um, how he came back and yeah. did the Bobby Roode. But he came out and that, that was a really good match. Like a really, really good match. Yeah, Hideo, actually, the last NXT show we all went to. And then there was another one in Ocala. Uh, Rennick Moss went after Terry Funk. Hmm. Terry has a... Dory, shit. Dory Funk has a school in Ocala. Right. And he went after Dory, and <laughs> Hideo came out and made the save. And that was Hideo's first show back from injury. Oh, damn it. We didn't go. Yeah. We were talking about going, too. It's an outdoor one. I don't really... I don't know about that. Florida? Hell with that. Is it at night, though? Yeah. Which brings mosquitoes and all kinds. Of, I don't know. Is it out outdoor or is it in like the uh, the livestock auction thing? I don't. It's there's a white tent around it. I know that. Huh. Well, I don't know then. I know Trump did a thing. And, yeah. Uh, the livestock building. I don't know. Huh. I figure that's where it was. But uh, yeah, uh, Hideo won. Um, every the corner people. Mm -hmm. That were causing problems all night. Not really problems, but being obnoxious. Um, the whole um, the whole match, they were chanting GTS. Right. And from before, I know he didn't. He never really used it. He used it on Reddick Moss recently. Well, I know, like, before he did it, and everyone wanted to see it. Yeah. And he finally hit it. Now, so when they were chanting, I'm like, he's not going to do it. But if I were to watch NXT, like, he did it to Bobby Roode, and I'm like, okay, now he's, he's going to do it. Yeah. So. Did he do it at your match? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I'm pretty sure that was the finish. Um, That's a really good move. Yeah, he hit it on Clark to win. Nice. And then No Way Jose got Tommy to uh, dance with him, which was pretty great. So he was doing the Pee Wee Herman dance, Jeez. and it was <laughs> it was worth watching. Uh, I do want to skip back to I think it was Lana and Liv. Yeah. 
the entire match. I mean, literally from bell to bell, the crowd was chanting, "Let's go, Lana! Let's go, Liv!" Literally the entire time, I thought someone was gonna fight. Jeez. Yeah, literally from bell to bell, they did not stop. I thought there was possibly gonna be a fight over Lana and Liv Morgan. <laughs> That's a weird crowd reaction. Yeah. People Jeez. really love Lana, and there's a lot of people in Liv Morgan gear. Huh. Like, a lot of shirts and hats and stuff. But, yeah, that was the show. It was, it was good. It was decent. Yeah, hopefully they can go to the next one. Don't They didn't announce when the next one was even going to be. Yeah, they don't really anymore. Yeah. I like when they do that. We used to get them every month, and now they don't. Yep. Nah, I was going to say not even close, but... It's not bad. Yeah. We still get them. That, that's good. Yeah, that's what's important. Yeah. But our next live show, uh, May 13th, for what? Wrestling has a tomorrow. Oh. I was like, what? What? <laughs> yeah, what? 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 Uh, that's what everyone was doing outside as they were handing out flyers. Jeez. Oh, that's good. So they were there? Yeah. Cool. Um, they came over and talked to us, asked if we were going to be there. Um, Chris, the guy who I think runs it all. Is it on a, a Friday or a Saturday? Yeah. So I'm probably not going to get to go. Yeah. Uh, see. He's in the main event, the Chris guy we know personally, sort of. Um, he's got a tables, ladders, and chairs match. So. Good Lord. Be interesting. Hopefully they don't go too backyard wrestling with it. Uh, well, I've seen they do some pretty hardcore stuff. Huh. But also I've seen, because I've seen a few video clips and I was fairly impressed. It's pretty good. Okay. And then I didn't know, but Saturday morning was another Entertainment One show. Yeah. Or whatever they're called. Damn it, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I think you're right. I think that sounds right. Entertainment One Pro. That's, yeah. But, yeah, I missed their show because I didn't know what was happening. Or I would have been there. So now to mention another small promotion but this one's never going to go anywhere is uh, TNA Impact Wrestling presented by Anthem wait who is this again? are they on, are they on TV yet? TNA? Do, you, do they have an app? actually the gym I don't know if you're making a joke right now <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if your opening for this was a joke either <laughs> I don't know. They're, well, they're, they're, yeah, Total Nonstop Action Impact Wrestling presented by Anthem. Well, I know that That's the name it. of the fucking company. But you're, I don't know if they're going to go anywhere. I don't know if that was the joke. They're not going that. anywhere. They're, they're, they need to die. But and this is proof. What now? I do want to know if they have an app. I'm looking I'm sure. Because I would like to watch the show, but... This killed it for me. You know who came back last night? Or well, the tapings last night? I think I know. But who? I think I knew. Who do you think? Are you going to say Jeff Jarrett? No, that's fine. He's part of the company. Okay, yeah, because I was going to say, I think he's the person who bought it recently. Yeah. No, that that's not a surprise. Okay. Who came back? God damn it, no reason. I, I've never liked this guy before. Fucking Scott Steiner. Yeah, that's my reaction, too. <laughs> Nothing. I'm sorry, guys. Like, what? What really fucking gets me is... No, I got a problem with JBL because he's a dick. Now I got a problem with fucking Alberto Del Rio that I used to be a big fan of because he's a fucking dick too. Because now he's talking about WWE like, oh, TNA, they give the young guys a chance. We're actually going to get to show our skills and you know, we got the chance at TNA when other people don't let us. When they're going to call in fucking Scott Steiner? Yeah. Who the fuck, what young guys are getting a chance with Scott Steiner around? And the worst part is, you know who the fuck he's feuding with? Who? Josh Matthews and Jeremy Borash, the fucking announcers. <laughs> it's the feud is, I think, Steiner and Matthews maybe versus Borash and Joseph Park. So not Abyss, but Joseph Park. Wasn't he a? He, a, he is Abyss. Yeah, but was his gimmick like an attorney or a lawyer yes. or an accountant or something? Yes. Uh, and just so everyone knows, that radio silence from my side was just a look of confusion. <laughs> I don't know why they would do this. And it's like, 
they brought back, or they, they announced the, that my, Matt Seidel was part of their company now. Former Evan Bourne. Bad ass. Yeah, that's Ooh. great move. Oh, we also have Scott Steiner! I mean... <laughs> I don't know who I don't know who all is on the roster right now, but I can, I can tell you some. Sanjay Dutt, fuck yeah. Sanjay Dutt is amazing. Um, low key is their champion, the X Division champion. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought I read he's the X Division champion. I wanted to see that match. Matt Seidel. Um, I'm not a big fan of him. James Storm. Nah, big Alberto fan Big Dickhead. Yeah, I've never really liked either of them. They've got. A good roster. EC3, Ethan Carter the third is a fucking badass. He's the reason to watch TNA. He is such a good wrestler. But he is, in my opinion, brought down by so much bullshit that it's not worth watching. The only... I mean, I see... why they could bring back someone like Scott Steiner. Can you? Please explain. I'll explain. Um... Matt Seidel, Sanjay Dutt, uh, all those people you just, most of those people you just named. We're going to watch because we know who they are and they're awesome. Um, but if you get someone older, someone who doesn't really, who doesn't really follow wrestling a lot, maybe they followed it back in the day, recognize, and like, oh, Scott Steiner, he's on here. I remember that name, sort of. <laughs> I, mean, See, I, I don't think Scott has that kind of power. And I, I like I always thought he was super boring and really fucking obnoxious, and not even in, in a heel way, just obnoxious. Well, yeah, I don't don't get me wrong. There's like a thousand other people they could have done this with. I don't know why they chose him. Um, no one knows. How old is he? I thought he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what though? <clears throat> could be worse. What? What could be worse? Buff Bagwell? Yeah, he's a prick. <laughs> he's like a legitimate prick, too. So, I mean, it could be worse. And then the... Wasn't... I don't remember seeing Steiner a lot. I know he was in WCW. Like, I, I definitely... He was in WWE. And his fucking... And this is a little a, bit. Again, with him just being obnoxious, his interest music was like just an alarm. Yeah. Ha! If you hear me! And then just an alarm. Uh, like, oh, that. go away. Um, Uses the camel clutch as a finisher. Yeah. Where's goddamn chainmail on his head for no reason. Not even doing chainmail right. Uh, I kind of like the chainmail thing, but that's... Um, he is 54. He was born in 1962. So dumb. He will be 55 soon. Yeah, a couple months and he'll be 55 years old. So dumb. Um, I'd rather watch a Hulk Hogan match. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think they're going to bring Hogan in. Uh, Hogan might come back to Dota East, dude, supposedly. Really? After all the stuff that's going on? Yeah. They, they mentioned him in a couple different things. I mean, it's hard to kick him out completely. Yeah, but I think I can't remember why. It was something at Mania. They mentioned Hogan a few times. I think he'll come back. I wouldn't be surprised, but I think it's going to be a while. Yeah, it could be a while still. So yeah, that was our, our brief bit of TNA news. Uh, back to good wrestling. Bray Wyatt, that goddamn promo that we watched. That was amazing. Hence, that was creepy and entertaining. It what what was it called? Bray Wyatt's sermon to the serpent, I think. Sermon to little snakes, I think. So yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was so creepy. Just the imagery. The if you would have shown that to me a few years ago, I would have said, "Yeah, WWE would never air that." That's right. Weird. So this match better be amazing. Yeah, they're building it up to be something. Bray and Randy are doing a good job. Yeah. Now it's up to and God, I feel like Randy probably has enough power and enough sway to be like, you know, screw you guys, we're gonna make this a great match. 
Mm-hmm. Which I feel like I wish he would have pulled that card at WrestleMania because that match was solidly okay. Yeah. Um, I I liked what they did with the projector thing. Yeah. Different. <coughs> Good. Good different. Um, those guys are killing it. Yeah. As far as like booking the matches goes, it's it could be better. It could be better. Right. And. We don't know what show Bray is on, do we? <laughs> He's on Raw. For sure. He got drafted or whatever. But he's also... Yeah, he's, he's got... This might lead us into the next story, though. Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. fine. We'll just... So yeah, the House of Horrors match we're really excited about. Yeah, and they, they better do it right because yeah. the build-up's been... It's got me. And the build-up for the other thing, though, with Jericho and Kevin Owens has been really great, too. And Owens got traded to SmackDown. Yeah, they separated them. So now they can't do anything to, like, promote the match. Right, so now Bray and Randy are technically still feuding over the WWE Championship. Right. Which is a Raw thing. Oh, SmackDown thing. Right. And now uh, the Raw guys... One of them got moved to SmackDown over a championship that's technically a Raw thing. Do I got that backwards again? No, I don't. I got that right. Don't look at me like that and fucking <laughs> make me doubt me. No, um, Randy has the SmackDown title. We'll call it just the SmackDown title. Yeah, and he's feuding with a Raw guy who's only over there because of bullshit. Right. And then with the U.S. title, which was the Raw, like, secondary yeah. title. Now it's the SmackDown secondary title because the Intercontinental went from SmackDown to Raw. Which is fine if the titles just switch. Yeah. But now we also have the thing of whoever loses ends up on the other show. But the SmackDown, the Smackdown pay-per-view already has Owens versus AJ for the US title. So we have to assume Owens is going to win and keep the title and keep it on SmackDown. Right? This is really confusing. No. Okay, so the next pay per view coming up is Payback. Yeah. Payback has Owens and Jericho. Right. And that's the SmackDown pay per view. Oh, was it? I thought I it was the Raw. So. I could be wrong. Let's fact check this. Oh, good lord. See, this is why we shouldn't have to fact check things. And this is why we're bringing it up, because it's confusing as hell. Okay, so... Get out of the way with your stupid quotes, Forbes. Let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, this is a raw pay-per-view. And this has the House of Horrors match is for the championship. Which we have to assume. Whoops. Randy's going to win. Because. Wait, no. Oh my god. <laughs> where, did, where did everyone go? What? I don't know who's where anymore. <laughs> <sighs> Bray and Randy were on SmackDown, right? No, they were on Raw. Bray is now on SmackDown. Randy's on SmackDown. God, just, just shoot me now. Randy is basically the SmackDown champion. Okay. Lesnar is the Raw champion. Yes, that's, that's, see, that's what's fucking me up, because Lesnar's yeah. gone. Yeah, Lesnar's doing Lesnar things. Okay. Where he doesn't show up for years at a time. So Bray is on Raw. He got traded to Raw. Yeah, he got moved to Raw because he... Don't say because, we don't fucking know. Well, <laughs> I know this because he uh, he was messing with Finn for a little bit. Yeah, that's right, which was really cool. Yeah. So... I don't know, it's weird. It's so, if Bray wins, does the title go to Raw? Or does Bray go to SmackDown? God damn it, <laughs> that's stupid. I hope the title goes to Raw. All the titles just move to Raw. That's what happens. Jericho well, wins. We have one brand. 
Jericho wins. He refuses to go to SmackDown. Brings the title to Raw. Raw has all the titles. They get rid of the SmackDown tag titles because they look dumb as hell. <laughs> I legitimately have a headache now. <laughs> Why did this have to happen? I don't know. I so, don't get it. final... Yeah. What? Speaking of the... Uh, so we're sort of talking about the shakeup. I don't like the shakeup. Is if it's something they're going to do every year, I like when they did the draft. It's the same thing. I know it's the same thing, but with the draft, there was like, like it was more like, hey, this person is coming here, not you know, oh wait, these people will be here in three weeks. I liked it when Raw guy faced SmackDown guy, and whoever won got a pick. Oh yeah. That was fun. Yeah, that's good, too. It's not real. Make a fucking game out of it. <laughs> like, yeah, right? <laughs> stop treating it so goddamn seriously. Or, like I said, the draft, because then it's like, this person is going here. Yeah. Thanks for the information. Not, and you see it happening. It's not like, oh, these people will be here in three weeks. Like, New Day. They're on Raw, or they're on SmackDown now. But they just keep getting vignettes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like the brand split. I, I love the split. Brand, 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 brand split. I get it. But they're going to have two different ones. I don't like the intermingling. Yeah. No, that's bad. Yeah. Well, actually, it's not bad. It's bad when championships can potentially switch. But yeah. the outcome. Right. Wrestling's fake, by the way. I, I'm sorry if I just ruined your life. Still real to me, Still damn real to me, damn it. But when you like can so obviously predict things, it sucks. Or they're just going to be like, oh, you thought this is what's going to happen. They don't do that. Now all the titles are on Raw. <laughs> We're listening to the Future Heels podcast, and that Brian guy, he's got the right idea. <laughs> he's got it. He knows what's up. He's watched a couple booking DVDs. It's just your fault. <laughs> this week, man's gonna cite you. <laughs> <laughs> this is why he decided to do this. Hey, you know what? Go for it, because it's gonna get us all the traffic. No, it's not, because they're not gonna miss it on the air. <laughs> we claim uh, it was our fault. I don't um, know if I want that claim. On the forums. I don't know what forums I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, let's go on to more bullshit. You have a problem with the SmackDown Women's Division now. I do. I didn't get to see this promo thing. It was just a bunch of complaining. They were asking why they didn't get the match. That uh, Who got the match? Charlotte? Yeah, Charlotte came out. Charlotte was like, uh, I'm Charlotte Flair. Give me the belt. And then Naomi came out and she's like, no, it's my belt. I'm paraphrasing. Sure, okay? yeah. <laughs> well, this is, this is a standard wrestling storyline. Yeah, right. Um... And then it cuts, and then uh, Shane comes out, and he's like, if you want the belt, take it. <laughs> if you want the belt, go ahead and take it. I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> he's like, you know what I meant, belt. but okay. If you want the belt, you can have a match. If you beat Naomi tonight, you'll be the number one contender. All right, fine. No problem. Whatever. Cuts to the back. Shane's standing there. Natalia's bitching. And she says something that physically just pissed me off like I was ready to get up and walk out of the room Natalia said I'm the best there is best there was best there ever will be I almost walked out of the damn room I don't know who has the claim to that right now but it shouldn't be her no um, and, and like I was telling you I used to be a big Natalia fan yeah but it was when there was no one else to be a when fan when she was the best yeah now she's not even close no and then in comes Carmella and James Ellsworth or whatever um, and they're all like, why didn't we get the title shot? And they say we? Because I believe that. Because Ellsworth is just so fucking weird. Yeah. Um, Apparently Becky Lynch really wants a match with him. Really? Which I'm, I'm totally okay as long as Ellsworth gets the shit kicked out of him. That's fine. Another guy you don't care for. Um, he's the type of guy that would win win the women's title. Yeah. Yeah, but with like the Santino and all of them did it, it was funny. When yeah. he did it, it's just going to be sad. It's sad and creepy. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, who else came in there? 
basically the whole women's division right. came into Shane to bitch. And to everyone, Shane was just like, you didn't ask. Charlotte asked. She got the match. She won. She's number one contenders. You guys didn't ask. Sorry. You know, like, uh, like Tamina went in there. And she's like, if Natalia gets a shot because of her heritage, why don't I get a shot? Well, you didn't ask. No one in here asked. <laughs> That's kind of that's kind of great. That kind of builds up Charlotte's character, which I like. Yeah, but I was just like, this is dumb. And then yeah, it's uh, building up Charlotte and Shaddy on everyone else. Yeah, that does kind of suck. And then later on, after the match, after she wins, um, she's walking through the backstage area, and there's just a line of all the women, and basically they're like, I don't remember what was said. But they just moved aside to let Charlotte pass through. But Natalia kind of gave her a little shoulder bump into her. Like, watch where you're going. Right. Dumb. <laughs> I think it's dumb. I think it sounds, sounds great that they, like, got out of Charlotte's way. But it's it's everyone versus Charlotte is basically what it's building up to. You know what they need to do then? Gauntlet match. Charlotte beats everybody. Just build somebody up as a fucking could be a monster. Or let the monsters be monsters like uh, Nia Jax. Yeah. But just let let Charlotte like break everybody's legs. Yeah. The whole women division on crutches because they have broken legs. Yeah, that would be a... Dude, seriously, they had a gauntlet match and people came out and she just like did some crazy roll into her, her figure eight. Yeah. Tapped out. Next person comes out. Do another, another thing like that. Tap out. And then next week, two or three of them are on crutches. Yeah. And she's just standing there victorious and all, all fucking smart assy. And there's no one. And then there. Naomi wins. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Really? She just beat eight women and Naomi still beat her? Yeah. That's badass. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be great. And it would be even better. Naomi makes her tap. Yeah. That, that, that move, though. That, uh, she beat Alexa with twice. Oh, that's right. She does have a submission finisher. Yeah, that's bad. That's and they right. built it up. Yeah, so. Shit, they need to have a submission match. That would be cool. I quit match. Oh. Who do you want to quit? <laughs> Wait, why is that? Huh? Like a quit the company? No, and I quit match. Oh, okay. Because that's usually like you quit the company, guys. <laughs> no, you do Mankind versus The Rock in the I quit match. Oh, yeah, that's true. And okay. The Rock screwed him over because he took audio from his promo. Right. When he said, I will not, will not say I quit. <laughs> and The Rock had it played over. That was great. <laughs> Gotta make wrestling great again like that. <laughs> That's TNA's thing right now. Is it really? Oh, it is, isn't it? Uh, see, that's where they went wrong. That's where they went wrong. So, yeah, they, they, there you go, WWE. Gauntlet match, and then they have Naomi win, beat Charlotte. Same way The Rock did it, too. No. Legit. It's been, it's been long enough. It's been long yeah, enough. Legit. <laughs> um, so then we have... Was Braun and Big Show on SmackDown? This was Raw. This was Raw. Okay. And I was, <coughs> I can tell you why I remember this is Raw. Because from the opening of Raw, I'm like, why is the ring different? I'm like, okay. They don't have the uh, LED screens up on the side. They went back to the fabric uh, ring curtains. Uh, and there was no... Um, of the LED like tubes over the corners. Yeah. Um, oh. I had caught that immediately. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of glad they could get away with those. For the um, day. And then like as it continues, I'm like, well, no, there's got to be a reason. And then when I saw the main event, Strowman versus Big Show, I'm like, mm, <laughs> what are you guys about to do here? Yeah. You gonna you gonna have one of them super black spots? <laughs> yeah. But uh, I, I will say, when I, when I saw it, I was still shocked. But I, th that rack, man. That, on uh, the steps, too. Yeah. <laughs> the steps, like, boing, <laughs> like, yeah. flew up in the air. That rack, man. He, he yeah, because we watched that, and I was like, where the hell did the ref go? <laughs> it's a good thing he didn't get caught under So, something. what happened was, 
uh, Braun superflexed the Big Show, and the <coughs> ring broke. Yep. I love this spot. Oh yeah, it's it's great. Um, who did it last time? It was Lesnar and the Big Show. That was the um, Big Show. <laughs> I don't remember who else it was. We and watched the video. Uh, WWE has the video of the 10 best times the ring broke. Yeah. Most, a couple of them, I think, were legit. Yeah, I think so. Like when Yokozuna and the rope snap. Yeah. Or the turnbuckle snap. I think that was pretty legit. But yeah, I love this spot. I love that they're just building Braun up. Yeah. He hasn't, Braun and Kalisto have a dumpster match tonight. Because he threw Kalisto in the dumpster. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're at now. That's <laughs> the best they could do. Yeah, they hired Vince Russo. He's oh. <laughs> no, they didn't really. But it sounds like they did. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they're building. Braun, like, killed a bunch of people, pretty much. Yeah. And then he broke the ring with the Big Show. Oh, by the way, did you not see why Big Show had the match with him? Uh, yeah, he said pick on someone your own side. Yeah, fucking cool! I love that. I Tell like, Bitch yeah. to quit again. Fuck you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was such... He shoved Braun. Braun, pick on someone your own side. Yeah. That was so fucking cool. Yeah, I was, I was excited. I was like, yes. This is that really made me so ass. happy. They are... They're, do, they're, they listen to us. They listen to our podcast. Yeah, that's right. They're doing what we tell them to. I love Big Show. <laughs> they're doing it with Big Show and with Strowman. Yeah. I know, Somebody's guys. Listening. Just keep listening to us. Yeah. You'll you'll do good. Do that gauntlet match thing. Yeah. If that happens, I'd be a little freaked out. <laughs> I got a future booking job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, th- this was great. And that, that was pretty much all there really is to say about it. I think it's funny you caught the... I have to go back now. Yeah, I noticed immediately. I noticed the ring posts were gone, but I think the only reason I noticed that was because I knew it happened. Right. I didn't... Yeah, I'm glad I watched it. I think I watched it from the beginning. I watched it on Hulu, so I watched the whole thing. But yeah, immediately, I'm like, the posts are gone. Oh, the screens are gone. I like this. It's the old ring. The old ring's back. I'm like, oh, that's why the old ring's back. <laughs> so, and before we get to our uh, main event, we have a little bit of dumb fucking dirt cheap news. I, I just, it's so stupid. Supposedly, the original plans for this WrestleMania was for Cena to retire The Undertaker. Bef- and Before we heard about this, I heard, I heard something like that Cena wanted to... Someone wanted this. Someone wanted Cena to retire The yeah, Undertaker. Yeah, I think it was kind of you know, a universal thing. It would have been good. But didn't The Undertaker say he wanted Roman to do it? I don't remember. I think either way it would have been fine. Um, supposedly this was going to happen. And Cena changed everything so he could propose to Nikki. So all of, literally all of WrestleMania, because we were supposed to get Roman versus Seth maybe. I can't remember what it was. It was going to be like a better match according to the Dirt Sheets. Right. Um, and we were going to get Cena versus The Undertaker. Maybe it was Roman versus Finn or something. I can't remember. We were going to get Shinsuke versus The Miz, and then their Continental Championship, and some other stuff. Right. Some arguably better stuff. Maybe all that's of, why Samoa Joe wasn't in there. Maybe. Well, supposedly all of this was changed because Cena wanted to propose to Nikki at WrestleMania. I'm calling bullshit. Yeah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it because I don't think Vince would let him, and I don't believe it because I don't think Cena would fucking do it. Right. No one loves wrestling as much as John Cena. Yeah. No one. Although Maybe The Miz. <laughs> uh, I do have to say, though, I'm glad if that is true. I am I would rather have seen Roman retire The Undertaker. Because it helps Roman. Right. It does nothing for Cena. It, uh, it does would be kind of cool, kind of fitting. It does a little bit because it's hard for that not to do anything for somebody. I don't hate it. But yeah, I, I like I like that match with Roman and Undertaker. It wasn't like the most exciting, but it was pretty good. Hopefully, Roman's gonna run with this now, and you know, we'll see. Yeah, my yard now. Yeah, let's see if he uh, 
take care of it. Like I am not doing my walk. So you're not doing what? Oh, uh, your yard. God. <laughs> Hopefully he keeps his. I was like, what the hell did you just say? <laughs> my yard's a mess. It's being a landscaper or something. I don't know. It would be my yard now. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, that's it. I I don't believe this in the slightest bit. Not me either. Not at all. Eh, like one percent. I would believe that Cena was like, can we? Can we get in here and like have a match, and so I can propose to Nikki? Maybe it was gonna be Cena versus The Miz or Cena versus Shinsuke, which would have been awesome. Maybe it was one of those things. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was supposed to be Cena versus Taker, and Cena didn't want him to do it. Yeah. Which, thank you, Cena. Yeah. But I just I don't believe that it was a purely selfish thing. If no. it did happen. Yeah, if it did happen, yeah. Because they could have just done it next year. Right. But I don't think Cena was in any hurry. <laughs> huh? I don't think Cena was in any hurry. And it was, I liked it. I thought it was a good WrestleMania moment. Yeah, the, as much as I hyped the WrestleMania moment in quotes. Yeah. I mean, it's, I was about to say it could have been done on Raw, which it could have. Or SmackDown. Yeah, but. Show, we're wrong. Fuck it, dude. Cena deserves it. Yeah. So. So, yeah, and then I'll see it's probably going to go away for a while. So. Yeah. Did you see the new thing that came up today? Something? I'm not sure. Those two on YouTube? And, and oh, they did something naked. I don't know what it was. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't watch it. Yeah, I don't care that much. No. <laughs> <laughs> so now for our main event. Ding, ding, ding. Which was hinted at earlier. I don't... I know... I did post when it happens. I posted on her Facebook. Why? Yeah. And the more it settles in, the more I'm okay with it. And I think that my initial reaction of what the hell was because I, I, got, I probably got this from the fucking dirt sheets. Gender and like Colonel Hawkins and guys like that were brought in simply to be jobbers. So when the jobber wins the number one contender... You know, why is the Brooklyn Brawler number one contender right now? What the hell? Right. That's not the case. Gender is good. Yeah. I don't hate this. Um, if he wins the championship, I mean, I kind of like the idea of gender being champion more than Randy Orton. As yeah. long as it's a good match. Because I don't, I don't like Orton to begin with. I'm just, I feel like he's kind of done. Yeah. I feel like he's better used in a cool feud with Bray or somebody. Right. He's better used elevating someone. Yeah. I'm going to look on our Facebook because I want to see... Um, Future villains, by the way. Yes. Um, I saw someone else post what? Did we get a comment on that? I don't remember. Because I saw somewhere... Someone, once again, outraged. And someone said that WWE is trying to uh, expand in India. Yeah, I think that's pretty much confirmed. Okay. So because, that's why... Yeah, because they also had the Bollywood boys help them out. Yes. Who are really good. Oh, yeah. So, worst case scenario, Jinder becomes champion. We get a faction with him and the Bollywood boys... And now they get more popular in India. Does anybody lose? I don't really see an issue with this. This no. is like saying I don't like Shinsuke and Nakamura because they're just trying to increase, increase their presence in Japan. Yeah. Like, yeah, but we still win because we have Shinsuke and Nakamura now. This is fine. Because Jinder Mahal's really good. Um... I can't really think of any other big Indian wrestlers except, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Gender. Bollywood boys are really famous in India. Yeah. So, fuck it. Give it to give it to Mahal, maybe. Maybe worst case scenario, give him a good feud with Randy, and then have him win the Intercontinental Championship. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's good in the ring. He cut a great promo. He looks great. Yeah, I mean, he can do it. I mean, there's no reason not to. 
my initial reaction was just because, like, he's a jobber. What the hell? Yeah, that's where I was coming from. Oh, wait a minute. He's not a jobber. <laughs> like, it's not like it's a fucking disease. Right. It's not like it's a permanent, definite thing. Yeah. So, um, fuck it. Let's do it. And you, you know what the best thing about this is? Mm. No one saw it coming. Damn straight. That is true. That's probably the best part of that. That's where all this outrage is coming from. <laughs> McDonald's! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, although, no one called this. Don't say that you did. No one did. Uh, no one out there can say that they did. No one fucking no, called this. No, fuck you. If you think you yeah. called this. No God, one called this. You might have gotten on Sammy to win. Sammy's going to win eventually. <laughs> yeah. They're pulling a Daniel Bryan with Sammy. It's going to be a long time before Sammy wins. Yeah, and it'll be a big deal when he does. Yeah, absolutely. That's fine. Um, yeah, <laughs> I do like the uh, the quote on the article though. Don't hinder gender. It was a intergender match. <laughs> as in we're entering the gender era. And someone just assumed his gender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was man. really hoping to work that into a joke, but I couldn't figure it out, so I just said it. No one assumed gender. <laughs> <laughs> There's a title. <laughs> no one assumed gender. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I super curious where they go with this now. Yeah, and not, that's a good thing. Like me being like, I'm super curious about wrestling right now. Is great, you know. Rather than well, that guy's winning that championship because he has to stay on that show. Right, that sucks. And then it's like, what's going on over here? Yeah, what's going on? Who won? So yeah, I mean that that's kind of great. Yeah, I mean I don't still surprised. Yeah, but that's good. Yeah, it's not being surprised isn't bad. I'm tired of being. It's not, not a surprise like Scott Snyder's back. Yeah. That's a surprise. Yeah. Now I want to go kill myself because I'm so surprised. <laughs> God, thank God TNA is not WWE. I still I, I'm still gonna try to find a way to find don't it. Do it. Watch it. Don't do it. And that's it for us. Yeah. Wait, way to end it on a bad note. Yeah. Oh, well, if we want to end it on a good note, Ring of Honor, having a really cool War of the Worlds. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's going to be fun. That's enough. That's that's the upside. Tanahashi and, uh... Shit, whose side is on uh, here? Kazarian and... Yeah. <coughs> Christopher Daniels. Versus the Elite. Yeah, versus the Elite. Fuck, yes. That's going to be really good. Really, really good. Uh, Matt Seidel versus uh, Mar Marty Skrull for the TV title. Cool. So, uh, Bubba Ray and the Briscoes versus the guys I can't pronounce their. Forgot how to pronounce their name. But like right. the, Bubba Ray and the Briscoes, you got me. <laughs> the, That's uh, a cool team. Basically, like the sanity of IWGP. Chaos. Not chaos. The other group. The oh, no, crazy no. weird group. Uh, they're good. And then, um, was it Jay Lethal versus, um, not Ibushi, um, the Time Splitter guy. Oh, okay. I can't think of his name. I'm not great with Japanese names. I'm getting a lot better. Except for right now. This is not sure yeah. that I'm getting better at it. Um, That really bothers me. But yeah, that's going to be a good show. Time splitter guy. Yeah, time splitter guy. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows who you're talking about. Yeah. Unless they don't. <laughs> so yeah, that's been the Future Heels Podcast, episode 10. 10. 10. Hell yeah. 10. 10, 10 yeah, perfect 10. 10. 10. 10. All right, shut up. Let me do the outro. <laughs> I was just going to do that until you turned it off. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can find me at Best the Realm on Twitter. You can find Brian, who's going to start using Twitter at... Brian25. You can find all of our content at FewTrueVillains.com. You can find us on iTunes, on SoundCloud. Um, Stitcher's messed up right now. I don't know if you can even find us on Stitcher. Um, YouTube. On YouTube, absolutely. You can also now find us at... at uh, uh, CastCrunch. CastCrunch.com. Oh, yeah. Freaking cool website. All kinds of podcasts on it. Oh, 
If you like podcasts, go to Cast Crunch. I've been going through it. I've been listening to some podcasts. It's a great place. You can leave comments and feedback. And it's kind of like Reddit boiled down to real simple, but just podcasts. And I love it. It was built by a, a small team of guys. They reached out to me. They showed it to me. And I love it. You can find us on there now. Very cool. So, uh, and you can still find me at Best in the Realm on YouTube, uh, twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. I've got some Destiny streams coming up with uh, Bearded Gaming Entertainment. Um, you can also find all that information on the Future Villains website and on the Facebook. And until next time, let's stop. Ten, 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 ten.